Hello everyone, welcome to uh, uh, Keshara Vikram Singha YouTube channel. All right, so today I'm going to teach you the last lesson, uh, lesson number four regarding aircraft general. So uh, if you are a newcomer for these lessons, please go and check the other lessons I did, lesson number one, two and three. All right, so in this lesson, I'm going to teach you the maintenance external visit uh, and how to do it and what are the steps you have to follow. All right, so now let's go to the uh, lesson. All right, the purpose of this lesson is to prepare the aircraft for any maintenance action. All right, this lesson presents an A320, but the procedure is also valid for both A319 and A320. It's because it means in, the, in this checklist, this is only for A321, but the same procedure you have to follow when you are doing the maintenance uh, action uh, in uh, maintenance action visit in A319 and A320 aircraft. Okay, let's go to the checklist. So the first one outside inspection station number one is no station. All right. So in this, this is the no station. You can see in uh, here, you can see there are some steps here. First one is nose landing gear chocks. You have to check the nose landing gear chocks and the nose landing gear door is closed or nose landing gear safety pin is installed and nose landing gear steering pin as required and aircraft electrically grounded. So let's go one by one. Here is check nose gear chocks are in place. So you can see the chocks. You have to check whether the chocks are available or not. And also you have to check these chocks are in correct place, right? So you can see the live picture. And the next one, check nose landing gear doors are closed. And next step is you have to check the nose landing gear doors are securely closed, right? So here is the nose landing gear doors. You can check uh, this is closed or not. All right, so this is the live picture you can see. And next one, check nose landing gear safety pin is installed now, this is important so then you have to check it the nose landing gear safety pin is already installed or not so here is uh, here is the nose landing gear safety pin and here is a safety pin hole all right so this is the live view and next one check nose landing gear steering pin as required right so you have to check the nose landing gear steering pin is uh, as required right so uh, you can see the steering pin here here is the steering pin over there so this is the towing positions if you have to tow the aircraft you have to put the towing uh, steering pin to the here position right so you can uh, check it out and next one check aircraft electrically grounded that is important you have to check out the aircraft is electrically grounded or not so to ground the aircraft here is the electrically grounded so in this picture you can see here is the cable and the hanger ground cable and the electrical cable work stands ground cable and ground this is the pin right and another thing note the aircraft can also be grounded from the main landing chip right so you can check out uh, you can see the aircraft can be grounded from the main landing gear also not only uh nose landing gear right all right so let's go to the next one outside inspection station number two right main landing gear station right main landing gear station this is the second station number two right so in here the first one is main landing gear door closed you have to check out main, main landing gear door are closed and main landing gear safety sleeves installed and main landing gear chocks in place okay let's go one by one here the check the main landing gear doors are closed as you check the nose landing gear closed so you then you have to check the main landing gear closed or not so right main landing gear doors this is the main landing gear doors okay you can see how this is the main landing gear door or next one check main landing gear sleeves installed right next one is very important you have to check the main landing gear sleeves are correctly installed right so here is the sleeve right here is the sleeve down lock safety sleeve right so you can see check out this uh, you can see this picture right so this is the sleeve you have to check it this one is correctly installed or not right so the next one check main landing gear chocks are in place next one is you have to check out the main landing gear chocks are in correct place right so these are the chocks in like uh, nose landing gear right so okay so then let's go to the outstanding inspection station number three right engine station so this is the station number here is station number one here is station number two and here is station number three right engine station so in uh, according to this one number one is engine right side access door secured check engines left side access door secured and engine fan cowl secured engine thrust reverse cows are secured or not all right so let's go one by one here 
check the engine right side access doors are secured right you have to check out the engines right side access doors are secured or not so you can see the check, uh, right side access doors here p2 t2 props access panels over there and trust reverse actuators access panels over there right you have to check out these are closed or not Let's go to the next one. Check engine left side access doors are secured. You have to check next the engine left side access doors are secured or not. So you can see all and fill indicator uh, doors are there and master chip detector is access doors and thrust reverse actuator access doors. You have to check out these are closed securedly. All right. So the next one is check engine fan cows secured. Engine fan cows are secured, right? So then you have to check out the engine fan cows are correctly secured, right? So then, all right. So uh, here is the uh, fan cowl one. See, uh, you have to check out this one is correctly secured or not. All right. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Check the engine thrust reverser cowls are secured. Then you have to go to the next step piece. You have to check out engine thrust reverser cowls are correctly secured or not. These are the engine thrust reverser cowls, right? All right. So next one, the outside inspection station number four, right wing station, right? This is the station number four, right wing station. So in here, you have to check flap slat positions and ground spoilers and position. Right. So next first one is check flap slats position. You have to check the slats position and also the these are the flap positions and also you have to check the slats position. These are in correct position, right? And next one, check ground spoilers position. Then you have to check the ground spoilers position. These are the ground spoilers. You have to check out the their position. All right. So you can see the uh, live picture. And then for the station number five, station number six, station number seven, it means station number five, left wing station, station number six, left engine station, and station number seven, left main landing gear stations. So you must inspect the same items as the right stations, right? So here, if you go to uh, uh, the, the station uh, here, uh, yeah, if you go to the left it means this is the for the outside inspection for station num uh yeah outside inspection for the station number three right engine station no so if you go to the in this side left side uh, uh left engine station you have to follow the same uh guidelines all right okay uh all right so then we'll go to the outside inspection station number nine aircraft area this is the station station number nine aircraft area so this is the aircraft area see check aircraft area is clear and clean you have to check out the aircraft area is clear and clean you have to check is there any uh, obstacles over there you have to check it out is clear and clean next one outside inspection station number nine no station external power receptacle all right uh yeah, sorry, this one is not uh, station number nine. Okay, this is should be station number eight. Okay, I think this is a little bit uh, wrong. This is station number eight. And then this is station number nine, no station, external power receptacle. Right here, you can see, you can check it out. See, external power connected and available. You have to check it out. External powers are connected or and available. All right so see the check external power connected available so this is the external power receptacle you have to check it out this is correctly installed and correctly secured over there right and you can see the available like over there right external power control panel over there you can check it out and external power receptacle right so to the ground card this is going to the ground card okay so this is the external power receptacle uh, this is the live picture right and next one so let's go to the station number 10 cockpit station then we go to the cockpit and then you have to check it out some uh, checklist right so the first one uh, you can see there are so many things you have to check in the cockpit see the cockpit safety checks and aircraft power supply so regarding the cockpit safety checks you have uh, 13 things you have to check right so rear and overhead circuit breaker panels emergency equipment wipers you have to check it off and battery one and battery two off and voltage about 25 voltage and battery one and battery two push button switches uh, in auto position and spring brake handles retract or disarm position and trust levers must be idle and engine ignition mode selector should be uh, must be in the normal positions and flap lever set according to service position radar must be off gravity g extension reset or stalled and landing gear lever down uh, and three means uh, you have to check the three positions in green and control safety control is com uh, completed and uh, 
in aircraft power supply so external power should be on and generator one generator two should be on galleys as required right so ventilation panels in ventilation panels there should be no light okay right so let's go one by one the first one station number 10 cockpit station cockpit safety checklist the first one is check rear and overhead circuit breaker panels right you have to check it out the rear and over this is the overhead circuit breaker panels and rear is over 122 and 121 one, 123 here 125 124 these are the rear circuit breaker panels you have to check it out the circuit breaker panels here right okay these are the open position these are the Close positions you have to check is closed. Uh, everything is every circuit breakers are closed, right? So, on, uh, if it's if uh, a circuit breaker is on, you have to check it out. Is there any warning tag over there, right? So, you have to check it out and then check emergency equipment, right? So, then you have to check it out the emergency equipments available or not. So, right, see well, how many emergency equipments you can see. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? So, eleven emergency equipments are available in the cockpit. So, let's go one by one. So, the first one is uh, here the fire extinguisher. You have to check it out. Is there available the fire extinguisher, right? So, this is the fire extinguisher. In later modules, we will do uh, in detail about fire extinguishing system in the aircraft. And this one, the escape rope you have to check it out the escape ropes are available these are the two positions escape ropes are uh, available and then go to the protective blouse and this is the smoke hood okay you have to check it out the smoke hood is available right and then you have to check the life vest life vest are installed in under the cockpit seats all right you have to check it out is available captain and first officer there should be two uh i think uh, there should be a uh, four life vest available if there's four occupant seats right so uh, the third occupant seat fourth occupant seats right and this is the crash axe. There should be a crash axe. And then the oxygen masks, right? You have to check it out. Two oxygen masks, uh, sorry, uh, four oxygen masks are available in the cockpit, right? So this is the flashlight, all right? Okay, so the next one is you have to check it out. The wipers are off. You have to check it out. The wipers are off here. Here is the light beam, the wi uh, in the in the uh, overhead panel. You can check uh, the wipers. They, they should be in off position and then you have to check battery one and battery two off and voltage about 25 voltage right so you can see this is the battery you have to check it out the voltage must be about 25 voltage right about 25 voltage so battery one and battery two uh, are uh, uh, battery two and battery two off and the voltage about 25 voltage batteries voltage about 25 ensure charge change about uh, i think charge about 50 percent right not change it's about charge charge about 50 percent and if the battery voltage is below 25 volts a charging cycle of 20 minutes is required right if it is lower than 25 volts you have to uh, make a charging cycle uh, minimum 25 minutes 20 minutes if the battery voltage is above 25 volts battery one and battery two push button switches on auto right if you have to check it out the battery one and battery two voltages right if the voltages are more than 25 volts you can uh, put the battery one and battery two push button into auto position and uh, if it is more than uh, if it is less than 25 volts you have to charge right the uh, the battery right at least 20 minutes let's go to the next one fifth one battery one battery two push button switches or top person same like the before uh, thing right check right hand dome light is in if it is in uh, auto position the right hand dome light should be in the on right next one speed brake handles retract and distort right so uh the speed brake handle this is the speed brake handle it should be in the retract or distort position if the speed brake handle disagrees with the surface position maintenance action due right it means if there's the uh, speed brake handle is disagreed with the surface position it uh, the hand it means example if this is in retract position but the speed re speed brakes are not still retract so then there should be a maintenance action all right so next one thrust reverser it should be in idle position these are the two subs reversers you have to check this should be in the idle position all right next one engine master switch one and two are must be off right so here one and two engine master switches this should be off position all right and next one engine ignition mode selector should, should be in the normal position so engine mode selector should be more normal position it not should be engine start ignition start or crank position all right so next one flap lever set according to the surface position now see this flap lever you can see the flap levers it should be according to the surface position it means if the flap lever is in uh, number one position then 
the ground the flap should be in the number one position so this must be in the same as the surface position so if the engine reverse cows have been opened for maintenance action the slash must be retracted right so it means if the engine cows uh have been open if the engine cows are open for some maintenance action then sh the the slats must be retracted right so if not the engine cows can be hit to the slats right they uh, it, it is a little bit dangerous all right so next one the radar must be off Red radar must be off this is the radar panel see the weather radar so everything must be uh sorry read the radar so right you have to be in this switch so the radar panel should be off position and then ATC transponder should be off. ATC transponder also should be in off position. And next one, gravity extend, uh, gravity G extensions reset or stop. So gravity G extension also reset or stored position, right? So then landing gear lever down three green, right? So these are the uh, three indicators. So the landing gear levers must be down, and also the indication three green light should be indicated, right? Next, the control safety checklist is completed. Then you have to check the control safety list. It should be uh, completed, right? So now let's go to the other one. The external power should be on. External power here. If we put, if we connected the ground power to the aircraft, then there you can see the available light. And then uh, the external power we have to on, right? Okay, then next generator one and generator two in on position. Generator one, generator two is on position. This is in here. You can see the fold, but it should be in on position. And then uh, galleys as required. So galleys you can uh, or on, you can put into auto or you can put it to off, right? So this is the galleys position. And then all lights off and ventilation panel, right? All lights off on the ventilation panel. So this is the ventilation panel. These are the ventilation panel. So all lights should be off, right? All right, so that is the end of uh, that is the end of maintenance external visit. So uh, yeah, so uh, in this lesson uh, you will learn about how do you do the maintenance external visit in 321s, and this uh, checklist is a way, uh, uh, included for A320 and A320. So uh, that is the end of aircraft general. So I think you have got a good knowledge about uh, aircraft generals and if you are looking forward to phase for the type training, a 20 family type training, you can follow this uh, video series. So uh, that is the end of uh, this uh, lesson number four. So in next lesson, I'm going to, is actually not a lesson, I'm going to do uh, some question discussion discussion okay some kind of some questions uh, will can be come to for, uh, for the uh, question papers actually it's not the real questions i just questions i made from myself or i will take from some another source so i will discuss with the questions in next lesson so maybe uh, you can join for this uh, video also all right so thank you for joining and uh, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to uh, hit the like button and hit the bell icon and uh, if you have any questions please comment below and uh, do not forget to share these videos in the facebook or any other uh, social platform all right so thank you uh, again for joining for this lesson and uh, that's all for today lesson okay see you in the next uh, lesson have a good day for all of you